political today. We're going to talk about the January 6th commission and see how they're getting along. So let's take a deep dive into that. I hope you like the video. And if you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I mean, my gosh, it really looks like things are heating up with that January 6th committee. They've had hundreds of testimonies. Uh, they've struggled with these few people who don't want to come in. And um, why wouldn't you want to? And unless you're hiding something, and uh, and of course, once those people come in, they've already got the answers. They know what they're going to ask them. And and then once they lie about the answer, then that just, you know. So uh, let's see. Look, lots of Trump's lackeys have been crawling in, walking in the back door, quietly moving on to the January 6th committee to tell what they know. Lots, hundreds, okay? And hundreds, hundreds of subpoenas have gone out to, to hold people accountable. Um, so Bannon, Department of Justice, they're on his tail. They're gonna get him. Meadows, the, is moving on to the Department of Justice, they're gonna do the same as they did with Bannon. Jason Miller, they postponed his deposition because he engaged with the committee. Jason Miller, remember him? Okay, the uh, paper trail of treason. I'm reading uh, my notes here to make sure I don't miss a couple points. Paper trail of treason. Imagine what they put together with hundreds of witnesses. And those people saying, well, look at my email, I don't care. Here, here's my text. Um, the PowerPoint presentation, what is that all about? Some, I mean, these people don't, these old men don't have an idea of how electronics works today. Everything you touch that has a keyboard is uh, recorded somewhere and can be retrieved. They don't get it. They think, oh, once they close the phone, that it magically disappears. No, it's all still there. And the January 6th committee, they have it, they know. Um, Trump lost that appeal to block uh, his uh, 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 information being released because of presidential privilege. Yeah, it's going to this. Okay, so these are the Book of Toth, Le Livre de Toth by um, de Talier, whose name is actually, uh, was actually uh, Aliet, I think. So this is France. This is back in the mid uh, 1700s. And uh, Book of Toth is, uh, the problem, the thing with these cards is that they don't uh, decipher like the typical Rider Waite cards do. Rider Waite cards. But uh, these are beautiful, but I mean, they're cryptic. So you've got to be comfortable in the divinations you're going to use for these. Um, so I don't use them very much, to tell you the truth. But I thought they'd be good for this. And of course, this is just a good time to spread them out so you can see the cards, you know, what they look like, uh, and uh, get a feel for what this deck's going to be like in just a minute. And uh, maybe you're going to uh, shoot some of your energy uh, across the uh, airwaves into this reading. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, so these are great cards. I like them, but they are hard to use if you don't use them every day, I think. Okay, so this will be politics. This will be the January 6th commission. And specifically, I want to talk about um, or get a little information on Jason Miller, a little bit of Steve Bannon, a little bit of Mark Meadows, and it seems that there's someone else. Um, that I was interested in. Oh, Jeffrey Clark. Jeffrey Clark, of course. So for Jeffrey Clark, what is this that fell out? Oh, this is the <laughs> so this is the Knight of, of Coins for Jeffrey Clark. Uh, let me see if I if my cards are inverted because I'm not happy to have them inverted. This is inverted and this is straight up. Okay, so January six committee. Let's see what we can find out. Let's go right down that list. First, we'll say Jason Miller. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Jason Miller quickly, even though I didn't. Now, he was the... Uh
was the uh, a communication st strategist and a political advisor to uh, number 45, and he was part of that transition team, but he had a problem. He was uh, supposed to um, be on that commission, the communications director during the presidential transition, but it was through because he had an affair, he had an affair with a campaign staffer where a child was born from that affair. And then he went on to work for CNN. Then he was accused in 2018 of drugging his pregnant, pregnant mistress with uh, an abortion drug. And then in 2021, he became a contributor for Newsmax, which is a propaganda, a propaganda rag uh, electronic. And then, um, then he became CEO of that uh, dark web uh, site, which was supposed to be something like Twitter called Getter. And um, so Jason Miller. So let's see. And it's understood that he has been in communications with the January 6th committee. So I just want to know in three cards, are you providing information to the communications to the January 6th committee that's uh, detrimental to Trump? Just that simple. Detrimental to Trump. Signifier card for that is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is uh, typically uh, depicted as um, having... Um, in the Rider Weight deck, as three cups up and three cups spilt, uh, two cups up and three cups spilt. So, um, so this is loss. You know, this is uh, compassion. Uh, this is emotion. Uh, this is um, uh, you know all mixed up with those kind of emotions. And so, the first card out of the pack for Jason Miller regarding whether he's uh, spilling some information that will be detrimental to Trump is that yeah, there's some of these these some of these uh, cups have been spilt, and there's a couple that are still up. Second card for Jason Miller in that regard is the Six of Cups, and that's remembering how things were in the past, a better time. So, and then the last card for that is this, uh, okay, this is the Three of Wands, and so this is um, long-term planning. So it looks like, yeah, he's given up some of what he, of, of the emotional information that he knows, um, probably wishing that things were like they were before he had to do that, and he's trying to make sure he's got some long-term plans to protect himself uh, throughout this situation by uh, spilling to the committee. Now for, let's see, Jeffrey Clark. Let's talk about Jeffrey Clark really quickly. Jeffrey Clark. Jeffrey Clark. No, you know what? We're going to not do that. We're going to talk about um, Steve Bannon. Steve. Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon. Okay, Steve Bannon. Because he is, as uh, the DOJ has uh, found him in contempt, and uh, he's facing le legal um, issues with that. So, Steve Bannon, are you going to go to jail? That's all I want to know. Steve Bannon, are you going to go to jail? That's what I want to know. Three cards one, two, and three. Steve Bannon. Are you going to go to jail? So we know that Jason Miller is spilling some information, and let's see what Steve Bannon has. Okay, so this is prudence. Ah, prudence. This is looking at yourself in the mirror and uh, trying to decide, you know, what's the most, um, you know, the, the most prudent thing that you can do in your own regard. So prudence. The second card for that, whether he'll go to jail is oh this is very interesting so this is the card and this deck that um leaves this up to the uh, um reader's uh, intuition it's named for the fellow who developed this deck italia and um it's and so la questionante so for me i'm going to say yes he will but let's see what the last card uh, brings for us and this is the uh, the femme blonde. So this is the queen of cups. So lots uh, of, of um, emotional issues. Very much in control of that. I think I need one more card out of here to help with this. And judgment. Okay. There we go. So it looks like certainly there will be judgment for Steve Bannon. Okay. So we started out with prudence. Looking at himself in the mirror. Deciding what's the best thing for him. This leaves it up to the interpreter's in interpretation. And I say that yes, he will uh, go to jail. And then the final card in this is uh, the Queen of Cups. Uh, cups are emotions. The Queen is very much in charge of her emotions. And then the last card I pulled at the last minute, right out of the middle of the stack, was judgment. So I say that yeah, it's an emotional situation. He's come down a peg from what he thought he was as a king, and uh, and that he will have to pay a, a legal price for that. Okay, so that's Jason Miller and Steve Bannon, two wonderful guys, huh? 
So now the third one that we want to see is Jeffrey Clark. So Jeffrey Clark was the Jeffrey Clark was the attorney who Trump was going to name and his remit within the Department of Justice had nothing to do with uh, these types of issues. Um, I forget the department that he was in, and I'm not going to take the time to look it up while I'm uh, filming. But um, he had circulated a letter that he constructed for the states, uh, giving them an idea of how they could uh, delegitimize the certified votes and, um, and send on something else to uh, Washington, uh, some other electors that would nominate Trump. So uh, that is who Steve Clark is. I want to know, and he's cooperating apparently now with uh, the committee. So I want to know, and he's a lawyer. And he's not stupid, but he's just misguided really in a big way. I mean, he was one of the architects, I would say, of uh, a, a good part of this insurrection. So Jeffrey Clark, attorney, are you going to jail? One, two, three. And I'm coming up with these questions right now, right off the cuff, so that they'll be fresh. So Jeffrey Clark, he wrote that letter telling these states how they could send their own electors instead of who the voters wanted. Are you going to jail? So this comes up with the uh, page of coins. The page of coins. You know, the page is bringing a message to the court of value. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's bringing a message of value to that committee. The next card for that is, again, the Queen of Cups. He's down a peg from who he thought he was. This is an emotional situation. And then the last card for this is the Four of Cups. Again, emotion, compassion, you know, very uh, fraught with uh, emotional issues. And the Four of Cups, typically in the Rider Waite deck, is depicted as uh, someone being offered a cup. They have three. They're being offered another one that they really don't want. So it could be that he does get some sort of an offer, um, not quite what he uh, wanted to get. But um, my question was, uh, will he go to jail? And it looks like he may get some sort of an offer to, um, to make that a bit more palatable because he's brought some good information to the, to the team. The last one that I want to talk about uh, right now, we'll do a, a, a full Celtic cross for this one. No, I think we'll do three cards. Three cards for Mark Miller. Mark Miller. Mark Miller. He was the chief of staff. He's chief of staff. He's kind of of not uh, the smartest guy. I mean, he looks the part, which is why he got the job, because he looks like he's a wizened statesman, but he's actually just a crafty fellow and uh, and not all that smart. He's turned over lots of, of electronic communications to the uh, committee that uh, incriminates him, frankly, and, um, and but at the same time, he's walked away from two opportunities to go and... Um, and testify, and so on to the Department of Justice. Uh, let's see, Mark Miller. I want to know, Mark Miller, are you going to go to jail? Three cards. One, two, and three. Then the last uh, draw we do will be for the January 6th committee itself. So three cards, Mark Miller, Chief of Staff, are you going to jail? So this is the uh, Six of Coins. The Six of Coins, okay, now my mind's a blank. The Six of Coins, I'm going to look it up because I don't want to be wrong in this. And uh, the Coins are right here. Six of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. The Six of Pentacles is um, is in the typical Rider Waite deck. You may remember that there's someone there who's kind of doling out the money to the peasants. Okay, so the Six of Coins, so he is, in fact, or value, he is, in fact, doling out the value that he has. The next card for that is this Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is telling you, you better take a break. This is truth, justice, rules, and law. It's telling you better lay down and take a break. This is typically the guy that's laying down on his uh, coffin, actually, uh, before he gets up. And uh, so, yeah, this is telling him, you better be very cautious about what you do at your own peril. And the last card for this, well, he go to jail. Ah, the Two of Pentacles is a balance. So he's trying to perform some sort of a balancing act to keep him out of trouble. He's turned over lots of information to the January 6th committee that is incriminating, and I think he's trying to find some way for it not to come out of his mouth himself. That's interesting. Will he go to jail? I'm going to take one more card. And this is the Nine of Cups. This is wishes fulfilled. So I'm going to say no, he's not going to go to jail. Okay. Now we'll do a full Celtic cross for the January 6th committee. The January 6th Committee, the January 6th Commission on the Insurrection, and they've already had hundreds of uh, interviews 
uh, regarding this issue. Let's see what these are. Three of coins, broken heart, and four of coins, uh, caution in regard to rules and law. So let's see. I'm all thumbs today. Let's see this January 6th committee, full Celtic Cross, January 6th committee, whatever the cards can let us know about the success, that uh, will they have success in uh, in this investigation? And uh, and then for the last part of that, I'm going to want to know if they'll be able to set some, some standards uh, that will help prevent this from happening again. So the January 6th committee, whatever we can know about their success in this investigation with these first six cards. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, whatever we could know about the January 6th committee's success in their depositions or investigations so far. So, wow, this is great. So this starts out with, uh, well, I wanted to say that this is a um, an ace of pentacles, but it's not. As a matter of fact, this card in this deck is called Los Plantes. So these are um, uh, like a, a nature card, a fruitful, abundant, um, and um, so yeah, there's lots of here to be gained. All right, so that's the signifier, lots to be gained. The challenge to that is this, uh, let's see, this is called the Despot African. So this is the Emperor, exactly. Okay, so this is the Emperor card. So this is, uh, all of this fruitful uh, gain that there is to be had is challenged by this Emperor being in complete control. So I don't find that a challenge at all. I think that's all being, this Emperor has got all the uh, power that he needs uh, to, uh, to make happen what he ex ex expects to happen. And uh, this card upright is called Dissension. If it were uh, reversed, it would be called arrogance. So I would say that this this uh, challenge to all of this um, prosperity is 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 knowing how to use that. I'll keep it for there for now. The base of this reading then is the six of coins, and like we just said, six of coins is doling out this information. Okay, uh, being in charge, the one who's going to say this value goes here, this value goes there, this value goes there, and that's sort of where they are right now. They're collecting all this information in and deciding in what pot it goes for future use. The past of this reading, then is the queen of coins. Okay, so they came into this, and so the queen of coins, this almost seems to me like um, Liz Cheney, but they came into this with a strong feminine power to get to the value and, and, and control the value of what's going on here. The sky of this reading then, with this, uh, let's see, this is the man of quadruped, this is strength. Okay, so this is strength, and so this is the fellow who is going to, and in the sky, so they're shooting for all the strength that they can possibly find. Remember, these are not images that you can easily relate to the Rider Waite deck. This is a Toth deck, which is very uh, personalized for the person who created the deck. And this is back in the mid uh, 1400s, the 15th century. So in the sky of this is strength. And uh, it's also mentions voyage. So yeah, this is a, a strong, uh, journey. Uh, they're aiming for the sky in this one. The likely outcome of the first part of this with this, okay, this page of coins, and I love when the cards do repeat. So this page of coins, these are messengers bringing value to the court. So yeah, I have to say things are coming in. The last part of this, I want to know, is, so they're being very successful in gathering their information is what this tells me so far. But for the last part of this, I want to know if they're going to be able, at the end, when it's all over with, however long that takes, years, whatever, are they going to be able to institute some 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 balances, some checks that will protect our democracy from the information they've gained? And so the signifier of that question, the self of that question, then is this five of swords. And the five of swords is an abuse of power. So the self of that question is uh, is certainly that, something to control that abuse of power. And so the five of swords represents an abuse of power. Um, the environment that that's in, then that abuse of power. Ah, okay, this is very good. This is the three of coins. Three of coins, I always like in this, uh, in the top of this, this is called noble. So this for me, uh, t which is, um, is always the three of coins for me is putting something together, collaboration, something for public display. So yeah, that is very promising. So we have an abuse of power and then putting something together. It's in the environment of putting something together for public display. Looks like they will. Uh, the hopes and the fears of that then with this three of swords is, um, uh, typically, this is a broken heart. So this is, um, I would say, 
disappointment, um, heartbreak over here in the hopes and the fears, I feel more drawn toward the uh, fear part of this that we uh, don't come into some sort of heartbreak from this thing. Uh, let's see what the last card is for the final outcome for the whole thing. Ah, it, it, this is the Two of Swords. Remember, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. Okay, Rules and Law. And this is telling us it's still up in the air. There's a decision to be made. It can go one way or the other. And uh, I'm going to draw one more card to see if it lends any more clarity, no more than one more card, as to whether they will be able to establish something that will help protect our democracy. Well, we end up with this, let me see, six, seven, eight. This is the Eight of Coins, which is a very fruitful card. This is... Um, you know, just load it up with all the value that you need to get a thing done. So I would say that it leans in the direction of, yes, they will be able to establish some sort of protections on our democracy. So let's go over that one more time. So um, we wanted to know uh, if the information they're gathering is useful. And we get this uh, uh, signifier card of very fruitful, uh, it's called Les Plantes. So yeah, this is very fruitful, very uh, abundant. And it's challenged by this uh, emperor. Okay, so the emperor for me is still the January 6th committee gathering all the information they had. If, and that's how I think it, it depends on how they manage all this bounty that they bring in. And down here in the bottom just kind of reinforces that because at the base of this reading, we have the six of coins, which is doling out that wealth to the appropriate uh, recipients. Uh, the past of this reading with this queen of coins, I think this puts the women who had uh, been in charge, really, in my mind, of forging this January 6th committee. Um, this shows that feminine energy of getting things done. In the sky of this reading, uh, we have what you would shoot for here, and this is strength. And so they're going for to get every bit of use they can out of that. And uh, the final outcome of this is that there is a steady flow of information, pages coming in with this information, this valuable uh, information. Then I said, but will they establish something that will protect our democracy? And the first card I get for the, um, the self of that question is the abuse of power, this five of swords. Is this a five of swords? No, I'm completely wrong. This is not, I'm glad I read it again. This is the five of wands. And the five of wands is kind of endless fighting. Um, I wish it still was abuse of power, but it's not. It's the five of wands. You can see it right here, batons. So this is useless fighting, argy bargy, bargy. Okay, conflict that's not particularly productive. Okay, and that's in the environment of this three of, of coins, which is, in fact, uh, value and putting something together for public display. So there's going to be <coughs> quite a bit of conflict <coughs> towards that goal, as a matter of fact. The um, hopes and the fears for this is a broken heart with this three of swords. So now that changes this meaning quite a bit because it means that perhaps they're not going to be able to achieve what they could hope to be achieve. And up in the sky in this reading for the final outcome, we have this two of swords, which is having to make a choice of one way to go, rules or law, truth or justice. That's interesting. And I wanted one more card for a bit more clarifier. And I get this eight of coins and I'm just going to go for a better definition than what I pulled right out of my head. And the eight of coins, perfecting skills, gaining knowledge, uh, yet yeah, motivation. So yeah, so this eight of coins is uh, like the apprentice. Okay, really practicing that craft until they get it right. So it looks like there will be some some well uh, placed, well practiced uh, uh, value that comes out of all of that. That will in fact help somewhat to protect our democracy. That's how it looks to me. Well, that was interesting, I think, anyway. What do you think? Uh, did you get some different interpretations on some of those cards? Because that's completely valid. Re remember, we're, we're taking this from our own points of view. There's just a few things that are concrete as far as who went in, who didn't go in, what the committee said, what they haven't said. You know, those things are set in stone. But interpretations of what the cards are saying, yeah, what you're thinking is valid. Of course, I feel what I thought is pretty valid, too. So let me know in the comments. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.